Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is your first time joining. My name's Andrea. I'm the artist and entrepreneur behind Coco Michelle Illustrations, and welcome to this week's studio vlog. So it is approaching 6 p.m. on this fine Monday evening, and we had a full day. I have been using Asana to plan everything out, and I'm really enjoying the features. This is not sponsored, I'm just putting y'all on. It's basically like a management tool that you can use for your small business or anything really. Um, you can use it as a calendar, as lists, you can use different boards and things like that and I've been really enjoying it and using it to stay super organized and focused because I have realized in my adult age that I definitely have trouble staying focused on tasks so I've been using Asana to stay focused so you see that in the background and I'm really enjoying it um, but I just had a full day we packed all the orders we were done with orders at a really decent time so I've noticed by doing things prep the night before for tomorrow's orders it really cuts down on the time suckers or the different issues that may arise while you're packing orders if you do the prep the night before so that is going to be a best practice going forward especially now that we have our wholesale accounts that are ordering huge quantities it's the best way for us to be able to manage etsy and wholesale at the same time as well as coming out with our own freestanding website so it's been a lot going on y'all it's been a lot going on that's why i haven't been able to be on here so much but last week i got some footage of us packing our orders getting everything out the door for macy's and it was very stressful to say the least it was very stressful very chaotic but at the end of the day everything came out correctly um things made it there we've been tracking the packages um we've been doing really well our first release sold out online um except for one card which was released a little bit late because it was booked into the warehouse late so we are really happy with the results the buyers are happy with the results so i've been feeling really good even though i am still very stressed so i've been trying to manage that manage my own mental health health my wellness and just staying super uh, ahead of the curve on that and not letting that get too out of hand because at one point I was literally locking my jobs clenching my jaw so tightly that I couldn't open it one day it was like literally like clicking when I opened it more than like that much and that was really scary because that can escalate very quickly um, and it was the wake-up call that I needed that I needed to do some better stress management so I've been journaling I've been talking to my loved ones, talking to my husband about how I feel, um, and just like vocalizing things in the moment and not letting them sit and manifest themselves into negative realities on, on my physical person. I don't want anything like that because I don't want that to turn into issues with us getting pregnant, so nip that in the butt. We're really excited about our relationship with Macy's because it is going so well that we got reorders on some stuff that hasn't even hit yet. They already reordered it as well as Mother's Day and Father's Day has been secured. So you guys will be seeing Coco Michelle at Macy's at least through June. So that's super exciting for us and hope to continue that partnership well into the end of the year. Fingers crossed for holiday. I think it's going to be huge to be at Macy's during holiday. Like that would be mind blowing. So hoping everything stays there. So this week, you're definitely gonna see us working on some wholesale orders. Um, we found a local print shop that we are going to test working with for a short run um, to see how we like it. They have really great quality. We liked their prints. Um, we got a couple of samples and we like them. Some tweaking with the colors, but that's to be expected. It's the same thing we had to do when we print from our own office. So we're just going through the motions with them, but it seems really good. And it seems like the price is going to be comparable to what we pay per unit um, to create them ourselves, except we get our time back, which is invaluable. So fingers crossed that that works out because that has been exhausting. Mondays are always kind of like, <laughs> and I had some margaritas last night, you know, just like, I think that's all I need to update you guys on to get you up to speed for this week. So um, I will probably see y'all in the morning.
Good morning. Actually, it's afternoon. It's about one something. I spent the morning doing some drawings, just doing a little engagement post, um, something that I like to do for funsies every once in a while. Just little things that come up in my mind. Um, you know, I have like kind of multiple different art styles going on at the same time right now. I have like more of my fine art style that I've been really obsessed with developing and learning. Then I have like my more classic Coco Michelle style which is more like the things that you would see on a greeting card or sticker pack. And then I have like kind of like my comic style which is more like commentary, um, relatable, observational. Rarely do I sell those ones um, and I did something in that category today just for funsies because I don't think I've done it in a while. So that was nice to do. Um, today is pretty much a low-key day. Let's check Asana. Today consists of mostly things I was supposed to do yesterday. You know, we have light orders today because Bubakar and I were bosses yesterday and crushed through most of our orders so we have very few today i think we have like 17 to do or something so super light day on the order front which allowed me to have time to do my engagement post this morning um i have to order some supplies for my shipping of my next batch of macy's orders except i haven't gotten the purchase order from them yet so it's going to be difficult for me to kind of gauge what i need i might just go ahead and do it because it's snowing out like snow is snowing so i might want to do that so i don't run into any delays when it comes time to get this stuff ready um i want to update my banner in my etsy shop so right now i'm speaking to valentine's day um the cutoff for shipping for valentine's day was yesterday um if you want guaranteed delivery so i want to like kind of refresh the shop speak more about um, Black History Month um, and just make it more neutral, not occasion based um, in case it gives people a false sense of hope that they can still get their stuff for Valentine's Day by Valentine's Day when that is no longer guaranteed. I have to add a few things into the system for my second wholesale account. Things have been moving much slower on that front than the Macy's front. Um, the process is very different because they are a grocery store. Um, and their process is, I think, a little more technical. Macy's, they were kind of like, hey, we like your stuff. We want it. Here's what we want. Okay, um, here's the order. Send it. This one, it was like very much like you had to have X, Y, and Z. All your ducks have to be in a row. Everything has to be approved every single step of the way. So, you know, you go to submit something and it's like, oh, this has to be approved. Three days. Oh, this has to be approved. Three days. So the turnaround time for the setup was much longer that's it i have one other thing that i have to do it's like something so small and i just don't fucking feel like doing it i just don't want to do it are you done yet no you want to do it oh now it's me it's milk time it's milk hi <laughs> I don't think I have fully expressed like how surreal it is to be selling my stuff at Macy's. I've been so busy and working so hard that it is rare for me to take a moment to realize like how insane this is that less than a year ago I was working for the company and it's the only company I've ever worked for in my adult life and they have taken care of me and opened up so many doors and even though it wasn't the right fit for me forever. I would not have been able to do what I do today if I didn't have that experience. And that is insane to be able to now see my stuff on their website, to go to the store and see it there. And there's more opportunities that may or may not be coming up with Macy soon. Um, and I find out hopefully this week what those possibilities are. So it is literally insane. Like it's so insane. And to get purchase orders of units of this volume it's like this is a month worth of work for me and my etsy and i just get it in one email and this is one of many so it's crazy it's really crazy and i'm excited literally i just told you guys that other opportunities were going to come up for macy's and then i got the email saying that i have been accepted i have been selected to participate in the workshop at macy's 
for spring 2021. I didn't want it to get to my head or feel like I had any kind of advantage coming from Macy's, knowing the people that organized this workshop because I wanted to earn it fair and square just like everyone else. So I took it very seriously. I was up until like four o'clock in the morning, putting together a presentation, pulling all my numbers, making sure I knew my business, knew what I wanted to get out of this opportunity and knew what I brought to the table. And I, I'm glad I took it so seriously because even though I'm already selling at Macy's, when I applied for this, I wasn't. I was not selling at Macy's yet. This was kind of like an opportunity for me to be able to get my products there. But the workshop at Macy's has so much information, content, and resources, and networking opportunities that it was really imperative for me to be able to get this opportunity and to get to know some other buyers that are within Macy's that could see Coco Michelle as a good fit with their, their own division. So I'm so, so excited that I finally found out that I'm in. Um, I was hopeful, it went really, really well, but I'm really excited. Um, I can't wait. And in that same breath, I also got contacted by a news outlet um, that's pretty popular. I don't wanna say anything yet because it's not out yet, um, but they want to feature me in an article talking about Black Joy and how art really contributes to that community so that will be coming out soon if it's out before this vlog is up then i'll tell you where to get it um if not definitely follow me on instagram so that you guys can stay up to date hey guys so it's the next day it's about 1 30 in the afternoon um this morning we went to michael's school so it's the same school that he went to when we first moved here we pulled him out when everything happened with the pandemic and it has already been a year of michael home um and we are at a place where we feel comfortable for him to go back to school so we went to make sure that everything met our standards in terms of their protocol for covid um the safety and meet the teacher and everything was phenomenal they haven't had any issues they were one of the only daycares locally that stayed open through the whole thing um so they have really become like a trusted child care provider and have had phenomenal results doing everything that they're doing so i'm really happy about that so now me and michael are getting ready to go to our local print shop because we have decided that we are going to completely outsource everything for our wholesale accounts we're at a place where we can no longer do our etsy shop and maintain that and the level of service that we have there as well as creating printing cutting folding, packing thousands and thousands of units for our wholesale partners. So we found a place locally that's right down the road from my parents' house. So we're gonna pop over there, see my parents for a little bit and then come back home. We live. We live. Hello. 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 Vlogception. Vlogception. Mm. Every Wednesday. Morning. It's Thursday and it's about 9.45 in the morning. Um, I'm just getting into the office. I was very tired I've been very tired for the past two days so I've been giving myself grace and sleeping until I feel like getting up um, as long as it doesn't push into any prior commitments which I did not have any today so I enjoyed a little more sleep today so um, like I told you earlier I'm gonna show you guys how I'm using Asana to manage my time and my projects and to just have a much clearer state of mind because everything is in here nice and organized so I'm gonna walk you through that now so one of the first things that I love is that I get an email every morning that breaks down all the tasks that I have to do or are past due. So yesterday I basically took the day off. So I have some things that were due yesterday um, as well as the things that I do today. So it starts off your morning with just like a quick snapshot of everything that you need to do and a call to action where you can just click this and go straight to Asana. So now that we're in Asana, it takes me to the calendar view, which I prefer um, so that I can see like by day, what are the things that I should be working on, but you can also do a list view, which lists everything out like this, which sometimes I like to do just to get like an overall, like what are the things that have to get done? Um, and then you can attach files here. So each thing is color coded by the project and you can see the projects that I have over here. So I have like, a content planning one, things to do, which is just kind of like all the little things, um, my wholesale things. So I have everything pretty much mapped out and color coded so I know what things have to get done today. So if I see a lot of blue, I know it's a lot of wholesale things that I have to do today. If I see a lot of pink, I know that I have a lot of social media things to do, etc., etc. So I'm really happy with this. And when you create a task, so like let's say this one, when you create a task, you can come in here, you can add more detail, you can tag, 
um, you can say what project it belongs to you can assign it to people so sometimes I add my husband who is my partner on here um, you can add any kind of comments um, subtasks which I like so if there's something that is the main project that needs to get done but there are several other things that need to get done in order for that thing to get done I like to add them as subtasks here but I also have this as an app on my phone so when it's late at night or if something just crosses my mind randomly when I'm not at my desk I throw it in there and then I just add it as a random task and then when I come back into the full application I assign it to where it really needs to go or just put it in my brain dump project because I have that as well and it has really helped me um, I talked about it a little bit on my Instagram but it's definitely working for me the only thing is you have to actually use it so unlike me in the past where I would put all of these things in notebooks journals post-its and then never refer to them again I make it my mission to create a habit that every day when I come to my office I have Asana open that's the first thing I do before I check my email before I check my Etsy open Asana and keep it open throughout the day so that's just like my little business management tip for you okay time to work Okay, so I finished up some things that I needed to get done. I read some emails. I responded to some emails. I responded to all my Etsy messages. I have all of my packing slips ready for today's orders. And I just posted on Instagram. So I feel like I've had a pretty full morning. And I'm already tired. And I can feel that productivity starting to do do. So I'm going to switch it up, do a little change of scenery, and go to Starbucks probably and grab a coffee. But today is going to be pretty low key. So I'm going to draft up my email for tomorrow for my coconuts. If you are not a coconut, definitely sign up. I'll have the link down below. You get weekly emails, including a free screensaver. So um, I switch it out every week um, and I have to plan that out. And then just doing like regular mundane stuff. I feel like I covered everything I wanted to cover this week. So um, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. If you learned something, definitely make sure to share this with somebody who you think would learn something too. And I will see you next week.